everyone dreams of a fairy tale romance, something straight out of Cinderella. Though we might not have a lost glass slipper, the love story of Bhutan's royal couple has captivated the world. King Jigme Kesar Namgyel Wang Chuk and his wife Queen Jetson Pima seem to have a nearly perfect union. But unlike typical fairy tales, their love has challenged long-standing traditions, possibly setting the stage for future consequences. Or perhaps not. As we delve deeper into their story, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Tucked between China and India lies Bhutan, a country often seen as a throwback back to ancient times due to its minimal technological advancement. Bhutanese traditions are ancient, and royal marriages here could be compared to those from centuries past. For a long time, royal love stories in Bhutan were not about personal choice. Marriage was like a scripted play filled with tradition, as seen with previous kings. Bhutan, known as the land of the thunder dragon, is a hidden gem in the Himalayas. Its vibrant festivals, captivating dances, and intricate architecture reflect its rich heritage. Buddhism, the main religion, influences everything in Bhutan, including marriage traditions passed down over the years. So when King Jigme chose love over tradition, it sparked widespread discussion. In Bhutan, the customs surrounding royal marriage were strict and uncompromising. The monarchy traditionally endorsed arranged marriages to preserve unity and purity within the royal family. Family. Interestingly, King Jigme's father practiced polygamy, marrying four sisters simultaneously. But King Jigme broke from this tradition. He not only chose to marry just one woman, but also stepped outside the royal lineage to marry for love. The couple first met when Prince Jigme was 17 and Jetson Pima was only seven at a palace party. He was struck by her dance performance and told her he would marry her when she grew up. They both pursued education, Jigme in political science at Oxford and other schools in the USA and Bhutan, and Jetson in international relations in India. King Jigme became king in 2006 and reconnected with Jetson Pima at a family picnic years later. They quickly realized they were meant for each other. Their wedding in 2011 was not only a public affair, unlike the secretive ceremonies of the past, but also broke the norm by being a union of love. King Jigme's decision to make his wedding public and to marry only one woman was a significant break from tradition. Moreover, his brother married one of Jetson's sisters, somewhat maintaining the tradition. During their wedding, King Jigme placed a crown on Jetson's head and publicly kissed her, a bold act given Bhutan's strict norms against public displays of affection. After their marriage, the royal couple became more accessible to the people, often seen walking in the streets and living in a modest one-story house rather than a palace. They embraced technology and progress, helping Bhutan develop relationships with the Western world, and had two sons, sharing their joys openly with the public. Their story raises questions about the role of tradition in modern governance, and the power of love to drive change. What do you think about Bhutan's evolution under King Jigme and Queen Jetson? Was it worth breaking traditions for love? Did true love triumph? Share your views in the comments and remember to like, share and subscribe for more discussions like this.